America. I'm Conrad Everts, host and author of the blog, The View Through My Dirty Lens. Welcome to my basement. I'm gonna ask Andrew, the uh, videographer, to make sure he does not get any video of the crawl space. We don't need any evidence this morning. If you can imagine with my job, I end up with a lot of free meat. As we say in my household, we keep our trophies in the freezer. With a name like Everts, which is my last name, it's a very Dutch last name, which will indicate to you that I like thrifty meals. So today I am going to show you a very thrifty and easy meal that I stumbled across while cooking up some steaks from my daughter's most recent deer harvest. Come along. <laughs> All right, step one here. It's a package of steaks from my daughter Alyssa's deer. Being a Dutchman, the accounting on this is a $7 Texas youth hunting license, a bunch of miles, which I get anyhow because I travel so much for work. And uh, <clears throat> that was it. Two whole deer for $7. Plus Greg Rodriguez, love you Greg, gave me the hunt for free. Manage my hunt. Now this seal saver, I got this for free too. You're gonna notice that this is a real focus with me. This I got on a shoot from some friends at Kevin Steele, but I'll tell you what, regardless of the fact that it was free, this is an incredible device. Now we had some miscommunication, my camera operator and I, so I was not prepared. So this right now is a little too hard to start marinating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna waste some water, we're gonna run some water on this while Andrew and I go to Safeway and get the rest of the ingredients. This pains me greatly because this water is not free. All right, America, just back from Safeway. Couldn't take you there. They had to get some kind of approval from corporate. We don't have time for that. So now, for $17.05 plus the negligible cost of the meat, we're gonna have a very quick, delicious venison meal. I just stumbled on this goofing off cooking for my family the other day. What do you need at the store? Big deal, right? Tortilla, if they were expensive, the entire third world, well not the entire, but a third of the third world wouldn't live on them, right? We know that's cheap. This was on sale. It's basically a, pro, uh, a whole meal. I mean, you got black beans, vegetables, counts as a daily serving. This is the secret. It's uh, Safeway Cuban Garlic Lime Marinade on venison. It is unbelievable. You wait. You'll have to come over and try it sometime. Easy cheese, because I'm a man. I'm not going to waste my time grating it. Easy guacamole. This and peanut butter and beer, and you have basically an entire diet that you could survive on. This is an amazing food. So that's it. Look how easy this is. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, all good for you. And the thing about this wild game that a lot of people don't consider is uh, if you, you can't compare this to the price of beef. You have to compare this to the price of the grass-fed, organically grown, no nothing, no nothing hippie beef, which last time my wife was at the hippie grocery store, I think it was $83 a pound. So basically I'm turning a profit on making this dinner. What I'm looking for here is my cutting board. I'm going to show you a little cheater trick I came up with because I had a miscommunication with the cameraman. I'm horrible with the space-time continuum, so he thought we blah, blah, blah. So basically this meat is only about halfway thought out. But because one year I went to the Spokane Interstate Fair, I have the Forever Sharp. This thing can cut the muffler off of my car and still cut a tomato. And watch what it does with this semi-frozen venison steak. You don't think this is semi-frozen? Trust me, it is. But I will be able to cut fajita strips in no time at all. Oh, did I mention that's what we're making? We are making venison fajitas. I'll think of a fancier name later. Oh, Safeway Cuban garlic lime. All my fingers? Yep. No, I mean they're still there. Oh uh, yeah, your fingers are your fingers are still there. My fingers, I'm counting. With but them. you can you can still you can at least see you sawing the beef off. So that's or the the best. It was a joke, Andrew. Oh okay, gotcha. Because my first wife was in culinary arts school and she taught me how to cut safely. So you see how I put really? my fingers? Yeah. 
I'm able to cut very safely. Now I'm cutting these smaller because this marinade will soak in better if the pieces are smaller. Basic geometry, I guess, surface area. So that's it. Okay, next step. Again, I don't make any money off of a seal saver, although I did get the set for free. But this, for marinating meat, is the only way to go. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch and learn, be amazed, soak it up. So basically, that bad boy opened up. Just pour a little bit on the bottom, it smells so good. Start laying this stuff in. Yes, I did wash my hands. In case my daughter watches this, I know she'll ask that question. It's a little layer. Boom, a little more. I know this isn't rocket science. I don't have to explain to you how to marinate meat. Bam, that's it. Still have a half a bottle left for next time. Mix it up. Now, prepare to be astounded by the seal saver. Here's how it works. Put the cap on, the amazing seal saver technology. You pump this, creates a vacuum. See this little bulb, sucks it in. So what's that doing? That's opening up the cells in the meat and allowing that marinade to flow in there. So basically in 20, 30 minutes, you've got a marinade that would have normally taken hours to do. Me, because I'm obsessive compulsive and I love food, about 20 minutes while this meat is marinating, I'll come down, I'll let the pressure off, and I'll do it again. All right, so as of right now, I'm horrible with time. I'm guessing we have 4.5 minutes invested in making this meal. What I'm going to do, this meat is still about 50% frozen. It'll thaw, but I can just leave it on the counter in that marinade. Andrew and I are going to go do a couple of other projects. We'll come back to that, and probably seven minutes after that, we're going to have us a meal that will feed four people. Highly nutritious, very good for you. We'll be back. I'm going to throw this together. I just found out that Andrew, who is running the camera and also happens to be a starving college student, has not had lunch yet. So this is going to be torture for him for the next few minutes. But at the end of it all, we'll, we'll get a positive review, I guarantee it. Not just because he's working for the blog, but because this is unbelievably delicious. So because I don't have a gas stove, again, I'm cheap. I live in a cheap house because I'm cheap. So I don't have a gas range like I'd like. It's pretty easy. I just set this thing on six. Cast iron skillet, not complicated. I don't trust Teflon. I'm pretty sure it's a conspiracy. I do trust iron. So while that's heating up, we're going to make Andrew's lunch extra special. We're going to heat up the tortillas because that makes them better. That's what my wife says anyhow. My wife's wrong about most everything, but I think she's right about warming up tortillas. This is not complicated. In fact, I'm hoping that this is a recipe that young Andrew will take back to his apartment and use himself to amaze some beautiful young ladies from Bozeman. So we'll just set these in. You remember this, Andrew? You really want to wow the ladies. Heat those tortillas up. We'll introduce you all to Andrew in just a little bit while he's eating. And uh, ladies, he's young, he's single, he's way smarter than me. If you want to contact him, just get a hold of me on the Facebook. I'll filter you, I'll vet you as they say, and if you live up to my standards, I'll put you in touch with Andrew. All right. So we pumped up the seal saver once. We're going to pump up the seal saver twice. I don't know what their website is, but I'm guessing if you Google seal saver, you can be like me and have one too. I don't like to use plastic utensils. Again, I'm pretty sure they're the reason everybody's getting cancer. So I'm looking for my metal spatula, which is over here. This is very complicated now. Let's turn on some light. All right, the one trick I didn't show you about the seal saver, if I wouldn't have shown it to you, you would have been doomed because of the vacuum. Here's how you release the vacuum. Now I can get it open. Otherwise, I'd need a sledgehammer. 
All right, Andrew, back down on the pan. Let the magic happen. Here it comes, baby. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Young Andrew, I'm guessing his salivary glands have just kicked into high gear. I didn't ask him, but I hope he's not a vegetarian because this is going to be a horrible afternoon for him. I like the cast iron skillet as well because it holds the heat. If this was one of those highly toxic brain cancer causing aluminum pans, it would have lost all the heat and then you'd have to bring it all back up and especially on an electric stove. No good. So what else can we tell him, Andrew? Um, what's, what's the funny? Bring me the funny. Let's man. see here. Uh, Andrew's not yeah. only the camera operator, he's the funny consultant. We're collaborating here. so. The pressure's on him. He needs to give me a joke now. Uh, Food joke, Andrew. Food network. Andrew's you know, that, failing me. That guy's, failing. You hear that? that he drops in Brown. the name of another network. What? There's no other network. You There's a sportsman Brown, channel. Twice as handsome. How about that? Beautiful. You hear that? All I heard was I'm twice as handsome. I don't even know what he's comparing me to. Probably a rhinoceros. That's all right. I was just explaining to Andrew that this. Cuban garlic lime marinade, and I'm not BSing you here, did something to this venison that was just incredible. It made it so soft, and I did marinate it for longer when I made this for my family a few weeks ago, but it made it so soft, it was the most tender venison steaks I've ever had. My theory, or hypotheses I should say, since my wife's a scientist and she'll correct me, is it has not just vinegar like a lot of marinades, but it also has the citrus, it has the lime juice, etc. So I think it has more acid than a typical marinade, which for a game meat, I think that it really pays off as far as the tenderness down the road. Could be wrong. Put a comment on if you think I'm wrong. All right, Andrew, why don't you take your coat off and stay a while? Welcome. Hopefully Andrew will give us an honest review, no hats at the table, uh, an honest review of these uh, venison, Cuban lime, fajitas, fajita steak, burrito, I'm not Mexican, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of Mexican ingredients in a tortilla, I don't even know. I know they have deer in Mexico, I haunted them there. All right. It's pretty damn good. Starving college student, two thumbs up. He's right. I think the uh, I think the citrus goes really well with the the citrus and the Caribbean jerk goes really well with the salsa. They kind of do like a flavor complement thing with the uh, the corn and the beans and all that. I'm not bullshitting when I say that's a great way to cook venison. Friend me on Facebook. <laughs>